Okay, here we go, folks. I'm going to break this down to you real simple. And I know the Nintendo fanboys are going to sit there and say, Oh, Michael, you're wrong without even giving me a chance. That's fine. That's okay. Do what you guys have to do, okay, in order to justify your purchase. Look, I'm not a Nintendo hater. I want Nintendo to succeed. I do not want to see the Switch flop. However, I see the writing on the wall. And I feel like, in my perspective anyway, that I believe that Nintendo Switch will ultimately run into some trouble, despite great initial sales. It sold unbelievably well at launch, but that's a launch thing. Longevity comes into question, and here's why longevity comes into question. The software. It is not about hardware. It's not about what the Switch can do, or how you can take your gaming on the go, or this, that, and the other. It's not about what the hardware can do, folks. It is about software. Software drives hardware. Let's repeat that. Software drives hardware. Software drives hardware. It is not about the hardware. And the thing is, you look at the list of upcoming titles for the Nintendo Switch, and it's like, holy crap. Here we go again. Nintendo is repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. With the Wii U, the Wii U had droughts. There were times when there was no software coming out for the Wii U. And here we are with this new piece of hardware, the Nintendo Switch, and Nintendo's repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. Let's look at this list here. And let's talk about the big, big games, not the small games, because the small games, with all the respect, they might be great, but they're not going to move units. We have to focus on the big games here in this video. How many big, big, huge games are coming to the Nintendo Switch? These are potential titles that will move units. Zelda? Okay, that's already out, but that game is also available on Wii U. Okay, let's fast forward a little bit. Mario Kart, that was on the Wii U many years ago, a couple of years ago, whenever it came out on the Wii U. Fast forward even more, Super Mario Odyssey. Okay, one game, one game. Nintendo has one shot to convince the masses, which is where the big money is at, to go out and buy this piece of hardware just based off of one title alone, Super Mario Odyssey. They don't have the third-party support that they desperately need. They have NBA coming for it. Okay, cool. But it's going to be a gimped version. You know what I mean? And they have Skyrim coming for it. Okay, well, that's an old game. People have played Skyrim already, so there's really not all that much to see. That's going to be new on the Nintendo Switch version, I can only assume, right? They don't have the third-party support that they desperately need. Where's EA Sports? Imagine if Madden were on the Nintendo Switch. That would move units. Because here in America, football is more popular than basketball. Therefore, Madden sells more than NBA 2K. Okay? So the point I'm trying to make here is, is that they don't have the third-party support that they desperately need, and the first-party titles, no matter how great they may be, there's only a few. Software, again, let, let me reiterate this, folks. Software drives hardware. And I know some people are going to sit there and say, oh, Michael, you, you're, you're missing this game or that game and blah, 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 blah. I'm talking about the big games here, the games that could potentially move units. You know, Nintendo has to convince the masses to go out and buy this system. They have to convince the masses that you should put your smartphone down and buy a Nintendo Switch. And folks, this is just one reason as to why I believe the Switch will run into trouble. Stay tuned for more reasons. And again, let's reiterate this one more time, folks. It's not about hardware. It's about software, and that is what Nintendo is lacking right now.